Hello everyone, Kyrieth here. Now I had to return to Daytona in the Gran Turismo 7 World Series because I know we had the pace to win this race. We qualified in P3, but again, I don't, I don't know how to start this pickup truck off the grid. But anyway, so there goes our P3 quality. We were actually on pole in quality, professional pole for quite a long time. So we definitely have the pace to win this split and to take him our first win in the Gran Turismo 7 World Series. Got a bit of work to do now though. Gonna go up the inside here at turn one and just about clear the uh, British driver behind. And now we've got the German driver and quite a cool livery Toyota there. See if we can go up the inside here as well. Yes, we can. So we're gonna sneak up the inside. And I find in Gran Turismo 7 especially, trail braking is really, it's, it's not really a game where you trail break too much. You don't really gain the rotation by bleeding off the brakes. You break off just braking straight line having a really low uh, rotational speed at the apex as whoa we're gonna have a look here up the inside as well but just outbreak ourselves trying to avoid everyone we do just manage we're gonna give up that position again anyway i think it was worth the gamble we really have a lot of work to do because we've got the pace to win it but we're a long way behind now in p7 um, only three seconds off the lead but there's a lot of big iron and steel in the way in these pickup trusts we've got to really cut through we can't afford to dilly dally we just got to make aggressive moves that was a little bit over the line there we couldn't quite make the corner coming now into the bus stop now if you saw my other video on this series at daytona the track limits at the bus stop are really 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 uh, difficult to work out um, it looks like from the comments I had in that video that it's really the last part of the chicane so we'll try and avoid that you can see here we've got max verstappen ahead of us let's see how good he is in the chicane so giving it a wide berth there wide berth there wide berth there and definitely a wide berth for the last bit that looks like might be the corner that's giving out the track limit penalties we'll have a look to see if anyone ahead of us takes penalty at the line which has just come but it looks like everyone's got through there okay and we're not in a bad position three seconds off the lead and the leader has a little bit of a gap but if people work together that will close up although it looks like second and third are really going to battle into turn one which will be interesting but it's kind of early days in this race we got the pace we're in a decent position. We could have been a long way behind having to cut through the field because of our atrocious start. But let's see what happens here in the infield where I felt particularly strong. Um, especially the first couple of corners here at uh, Turn 1 and then in Sashal Horseshoe and then the next hairpin as well. Corners I really enjoy driving in this car. We've already caught up massively with Max Verstappen. We'll see if there's any space to go up the inside. Might be a double move on here. Let's see. Oh, no can't quite well hang on well yes a little bit more space opened up weirdly so and someone gets uh, shunted out there onto the grass a bit unfortunate the toast tundra we're gonna go side by side with Verstappen probably I should back out of this because Mike is right here and yeah if I'd been there I'd be on the grass so sometimes you've got to understand the reality of the situation real politique and there there was no place for me on the outside even if I was entitled to anything so that's just the way it is I understand it that's how I race and uh, we get the push in the next corner anyway now trying to catch up with the drivers ahead. We've got Brit, French driver, a Spaniard, and the Brit in P1. So the British driver's not doing too bad here. And the gap is 1.3 at the moment. Interested to see how we do coming out of the bus stop because I'm trying to take it a bit more cautiously. Other drivers might have it way more hooked up with the track limits. And I just don't, and I don't want to risk it. So let's see how we do. I was deliberately trying to kind of avoid a penalty at all costs because it can just be so destructive for your lap time but let's have a look here there's no overtaking moves going on ahead see the brake dust um it seems popping out of the brakes of the uh is that the f-150 ahead as we're coming out of the chicane it's still a 1.3 second gap so we don't really lose any time in fact we're gaining a little bit oh no we got a trap oh no oh dearie me dearie 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 me i'd honestly i, I need to look into this and just I need to make a video on exactly where the track limits are for my own benefit. It's going to be a video that only I'm going to watch because <laughs> I need to know where the track limits are there. As Max Verstappen is going to go back three. Not the worst thing in the world, but you can use a slip again. We haven't lost a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of time, but suboptimal to say the least. As uh, second, or oh, sorry, third and fourth are going side by side through turn one. So I'll lose a bit of time. Probably a bit too far back here to make a move on Verstappen. But we will see if it opens up. Think about it. Doesn't quite work. Um, I really like diving up the inside of the next corner if the space is available. So let's see what we can do. Can we follow him through the flat out kink? So is, it, is it flat out in these cars? I think it is. With a bit of an early upshift, it's flat out, yeah. Oh no, I lifted a little bit. 
I think you can do a flat whilst lifting there because the third and fourth cards were just going absolutely mad as we go inside the uh, Frenchman there and uh, get two positions in one. We were very opportunistic there. We saw he'd ghosted. We went through him kind of um, using the game mechanics to our advantage, if you will. Maybe a bit controversial, but for me, I think that's fine. And we're now on the slip of P3. So weirdly, we had that penalty on the previous lap, but now we've gained a couple of positions and we're right on the back of P3 where we want to be. And it looks like there's a battle between P1 and 2 as well. Things are getting very tasty. And if they really do fight for the lead, with two and a bit laps to go, we could be in the mix. And we do really want to win this race. I do want to get my first win in the Gran Turismo 7 World Series. As you've seen on this channel, I've had quite a few podiums. Um, loads of podiums, but we've never had the top position. So and if you want to see more of these videos, do feel free to like and subscribe. If you have subscribed already, I massively appreciate it. Oh my word, another penalty. Ref, referee, what is going on here at Track Limits? I just don't understand them yet. I need to get on top of it. Um, kind of destroying my race a little bit. Are we going to lose two positions here? It's a shame because we would have been there to take P3, I think, or Dice on P3, but we're going to lose a couple here. We'll have to get it back for last two laps. But yeah, I appreciate everyone who subscribed. And if you want to see more of these, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You won't forget it. I'm just a small independent YouTuber playing games in my spare time, making videos that I hope you enjoy. So we got the position back there, weirdly, already on the Frenchman. <laughs> So that was um, a quick one. And let's see what we can do here. Can we go for the double? Can we go for the double? The double's on, the double's on, the double overtake. A little bit of contact, but I think... I think we're going to get the double overtake done. That um, blue guy in the forward right very wide there. Very nice livery. But we get the double overtake done with a little bit of contact, but very difficult to make double overtakes without any contact. So that's a satisfying feeling. We're back up to P3. What a yo-yo race this has been. Um... Now, at this stage, we need something crazy to happen at the front of the race. It looks like the Spaniard, the 10FS eSports driver, has overtaken uh, the British guy. So, we need the Brit to come back and really die. So, because I want them to get a big penalty. Because, unfortunately, although I felt like we had decent pace, uh, we just couldn't really convert it. You see the 10FS guy doing a 158, which is a mega lap. That is a monster lap. And uh, we're just in the 201s with all the battling and the penalties and whatnot. So hopefully we can get it through here without a penalty and uh, be in the position to mop up if anything does happen on the last lap. Looks like Max Verstappen has followed this through as well, but he's going to be too far behind, I think. Oh, almost lose the back end there. That's a very slow way through the chicane. Max is going to be on top of us. Yeah, there is Verstappen. But he's going to be very, very close. Gives him a decision, actually. Is he going to try and go for an overtake? Or is he going to bump us? What's he going to do? He does bump us there. He might want to kind of solidify this fight for P3. Because if we were to fight into, into turn one, that makes it a full way battle for the last podium position, essentially. It's been a good race again, though. Lots of battling. Shame about my start. If we, if we worked on the start and just avoided the track limits, I think we could have definitely been up there all the way through the race. But that is racing. We, we didn't quite that a lot. And Matt Sapp is going to go up the inside. Nice move. We're going to give the space. And somehow, I don't know what happens. Maybe he got some wheel spin. Maybe he wanted to give me a lot of space on the outside, but he didn't kind of claim the inside line there he was entitled to. So, fair enough. We're going to just take our normal line through here. We're not quite on the apex, as close as I would like to be. So, Verstappen is still... Oh, Verstappen has a bad exit. Verstappen has a really bad exit, actually. So, they are going to dice going into the right-hander after the flower king. Can we go flower at this time? No, it's still lifting, still lifting. Okay. Okay. I have to go back and see if we can do that flat. I feel like that is a flat corner if you just take a healthy amount of grass on the inside. On the left-hand side. Whoa, almost losing the back end. We're making this quite difficult. Um, Belletti's now gone through into P4. And unfortunately, I don't think we're going to win this race. It had to be something absolutely crazy. For us to win this like they'd have to just completely cut the chicane or something or spin but it's a tough one really i feel like again we have good pace for the split and these splits i feel they're, they're not the highest splits i've ever been in they're not as high as the splits i was in in gc sport but i think they're more winnable for us and we just got to get it a little bit more together maybe a little bit more practice really understand the track limit see how gingerly i'm taking it through the bus stop now i've been fully scarred 
do not want to get any sort of penalty at all. Surely that's not going to be a pen. Gave everything a very, very, very wide berth there. But yeah, I think it's going to be a P3 for us. Valesi's going to be too far behind. And the 10th best driver are taking a great win here. But yeah, a little bit disappointed with this race. We still, the hunt goes on for our first win. It's going to be a special moment. Maybe we'll do it live on stream. Maybe it'll be in a video, but I kind of, I've got the bit between my teeth now and I really want to win a Gran Turismo 7 World Series race. We're kind of, we're in the mix. Um, you know, we're picking up good points for the championship. So when it comes to the championship, like in the UK and in London and, and in Europe, we're, you know, we're doing okay, but I kind of want to get that dub. So hope you enjoyed this race. Hope it was interesting to see kind of how I'm driving in these pickup trucks and hopefully how my driving is improving with them. But otherwise, have a very nice day, morning, evening, night time, whatever. And I'll see you next time.